one of the things with Kavanaugh that's been really interesting is an argument that I've seen repeated for different people who've been accused of doing something generally... It's generally, uh, you know, sexual assault or harassment. And it was a senator defending Kavanaugh, who I think articulated it best. And I, I think we have the clip that they'll play. I just wanted you to watch this. Do you think that any of these claims are legitimate? No, I don't. I think, the, I think uh, this woman, or whoever she is, is mixed up. I know the judge very, very well. I know how honest he is. I know how straightforward he is. I know how he uh, stands up for what he believes and what's right. And uh, frankly, uh, if you were going to believe anybody, you'd believe him. Now, you see, what I find interesting about that is I don't believe that that senator is wrong, right? He goes, I believe he's an upstanding man. I believe that, uh, you know, he's lived an, uh, an outstanding life as I've known him. And what I've come to realize is, in society, we're seeing this over and over again, whether it's Bill Cosby, Les Moonves, Brett Kavanaugh, whoever it is. And I'm not saying Kavanaugh's guilty of anything. I'm just saying what we see is people struggle to understand that two things can be contradictory and true at the same time. You could know somebody as a great person, and they could also be doing something that you don't know about that makes them someone that you wouldn't recognize. You, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, it's, it's just one of those, those simple ideas. It's like with, with Bill Cosby, people were like, oh, I... He's a famous comedian. He's the guy who sells Jello. We didn't know that, like, he's a part-time rapist. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, no, no, no one knew that. And then there were people who said, but Cosby, that's not the Cosby I know. And it's like, yeah, it's not the Cosby you know. Unfortunately, it's the Cosby somebody else knows. Somebody his victim knows, you know? It's just, like, different ideas. There's things that we learn about all the time. Like, your parents. In life, you'll learn things about your parents that you never knew about them. You could have testified about things, and then, like, you, you turn 30, and you're like, I didn't know this about my parents. I didn't know this about my dad. I didn't know this about... Like, I, I was like that. I turned 30, and that's when I discovered that my parents were having sex. I mean, that was wild. <laughs> as a... Like... Like, it's just... Do you know what I mean? Like, you can find out things that shock you. Like, South Africa learned this lesson with Oscar Pistorius. I won't lie. We were genuinely shocked, and people did not know how to piece those two images together. Here was an inspirational man who didn't have legs, who motivated a nation, who did so much for charity and worked with young kids and everyone, and now people were saying, oh, but he murdered his girlfriend. And people were like, but th that can't be true, because he wasn't that. But there's a reason we call them skeletons in the closet, is because they're skeletons in a closet. It's not skeletons on the porch. That's not what we say. <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? It's, it's something... <laughs> That, like, I, I don't understand. People don't understand it. Like, every single one of us has a side of us that nobody knows about. And it may not be sexual assault for everyone, but it's something, you know? It's like, people know you, and then there's, like, the you from your internet search history. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, there's that you. That's, like, completely different. <laughs> and... And a good example is... It was, it was uh, with Brett Kavanaugh specifically. The friend who was in the room, or the friend who um, Dr. Ford said was in the room, he hasn't been called to testify, which I find strange. And, <laughs> and they said, like, oh, he says he doesn't remember all of this, and Kavanaugh's not that kind of guy. But here's an interesting fact. His friend wrote a book a while ago yeah. about being a drunk in high school and just being like... And he writes about one of his best friends who he said would party hard and throw up all the time, and the character's name in the book is Bart or Kavanaugh. Which is not... I mean, that's not a great... That's not a great pseudonym at all, from Brett to Bart. It's, you gotta change the name completely. That's, like, really, Bart? That would be like if someone wrote a book about O.J. in high school, and they're like, my friend, Apple Juice Simpson. <laughs> You'd be like, yeah, we... We still know who you're talking about. So all I'm saying is this. I'm saying this, like, just because you know somebody as being good, they may have been good to you. It doesn't mean that they were never bad to somebody else. You know, it's always that age-old story. You watch the news, somebody was caught busted being a murderer, and what do the neighbors always say? They say, he... I can't believe it. He was so nice. <laughs> he was so nice. Every day we would meet when he would be taking out the trash, and he was so nice. And they go, but ma'am, do you know what was in that trash? <laughs> it was... It was human body parts. And it's like, well, it wasn't my body parts. <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, two things can be true at the same time. <laughs>